Parallel TCG has some of the best content creators I've ever seen. Some of the most hardworking and just talented people streaming, making YouTube videos, and even tweeting and, you know, posting on other platforms. I know you're waiting for the punchline. You're waiting for me to say, but here's why I'm mad. But this is actually a genuinely positive video. There's been some drama lately where I think a lot of people think that I don't like Parallel or people think that like Parallel sucks. Flux doesn't like Parallel. Flux thinks Parallel sucks. It's not true. I think Parallel is a great project with a few flaws and a few things that don't, don't necessarily appeal to me. Let me go and throw a bunch of positivity in this video, and we're going to jump into a little discussion about the free-to-play thing. Is Parallel a viable free-to-play game? There's a content creator doing something interesting with that that I want to talk about. First, though, let me throw a little bit of love to Quinto. This dude I've talked to a handful of times. He's always been very nice to me. And I think if you just look at this page, look at this YouTube channel, and by the way, I don't give a fuck about the view counts. I'm not here to talk about how many views anyone's getting, all right? I'm just talking about the quality of what you're looking at. Like, this is a good channel, right? Like, you can just glance at it and immediately see that it's good. The thumbnails are good. The videos have, like, hooks, right? Like, testing an off-meta deck, surviving on one health point, copying top decks, trying this combo, trying that combo, how to survive your first three turns, etc., etc. Like, just the effort and the, the high amount of work ethic of just effortfully trying to make good content, I really, really respect Quinto is far from the only one, but as one of the top players in the game, as well as maybe the most popular streamer in parallel, I thought he deserved a special shout out. Someone else I think that really deserves a shout out is Muka. So this is someone who I have gotten to know a little bit. I've been on his stream, I think, twice now. I was actually on Muka's stream doing a just kind of casual appearance to hang out when I happened to do my best run in any parallel tournament. I got second place in a Paragon's Dow tournament, like my second week in the game. I just happened to be streaming on Muka's stream because we'd agreed that I'd play a few games there. It was kind of funny. It ended up turning into this super hype thing. Um, him and his producer, who I'm sorry, bro, I'm forgetting your name right now, but they were both just like a super professional team. I was really impressed. So why am I talking about Muka? Well, Muka's doing something interesting. He's doing a free-to-play challenge. Now, if you've seen me on Twitter over the last month, month and a half, you might know that I got into a little bit of drama. I got here. I'll pull it up while I'm talking. I got into a little bit of drama on Twitter because I had a pretty strong opinion. I felt that the parallel packs for the new set for Planetfall, which is currently in the launch process, was way too expensive. I just personally felt that I was not going to want to participate in those packs. I posted a poll as a result of uh, this discussion where I said the cheapest pack in the upcoming expansion is 0 0.02 ETH. That's 40. Honestly, it was closer to 30. I, 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 I uh, accidentally posted a little bit of a higher number. So it really, it was around 30. And then I said, do you think this is a reasonable price for a trading card game trying to go mainstream? This turned into a big, like, you know, everyone from Parallel was voting yes. Yes, Parallel can't do anything wrong. And then everyone else was kind of voting no. At the end of the day, uh, Muka ends up being the top response here. And he had a pretty nuanced repo uh, uh, response saying he thought they were a bit too expensive. But uh, the main thing is I followed up saying, you do whatever you want. I personally, while I'm a fan of the game, found it way too expensive. So what does all this have to do with Muka and with content creators in parallel? Well, after all the dust had settled a little bit on this controversy or this drama, I thought uh, Muka did something really cool. And he's actually doing it right now. So let's look at him on Twitch. He's doing something that's, you know, it's not that hard to understand. It's a free-to-play challenge. So he's playing the game on a fresh account with no money spent. And basically, as someone who has been making a ton of content for the game, he is personally testing, is a free-to-play player going to have a good experience, or is it just, like, brutal? And here, we'll turn on the volume for a second. Just get a little taste of what he's got going on here. Let's see. Looks so like he's playing against, I'm not sure who, I can't quite see their name. He's deep in focus. <laughs> yeah, he's not talking. Still, uh, I was here a minute ago, he was building his deck, talking a lot. I think it's really cool 
that Muka is doing this. And I just wanted to point out that I think this is an excellent way for content creators to maneuver around each other. Muka is all in on parallel. Everything he does content wise is built around this game. He is very much a parallel, you know, I don't want, I don't know if he's a maxi, but he's like all in on this game, right? I posted some critical stuff about the game, and what is his response? He's actually testing the thing that I said. I said, and not only because of me, I'm sure there's other reasons, but I said free-to-play in the game is not super fun. You have to spend money to build competitive decks. It's not even close if you're trying to play on a budget. You just won't get to have a great experience. A lot of people accuse me of FUD or said I just don't understand. Flux, you have no idea how trading card games work or how NFTs work. Which is silly because I've I'm literally like thousands of hours deep in crypto gaming. I'm I mean very few people have spent more time grinding crypto games than me. So that take was so weird. But it's totally reasonable to disagree with me, even though I do have literally thousands of hours. I've been one of the most obsessed and active people playing these games for the last two and a half to three years. Nonetheless, it's reasonable to disagree. And I think this thing he's doing, where he just does a free to play challenge, is the best response. I think in general, as content creators, there's this temptation to farm drama because there's this idea that if you get into drama, people are going to follow your channel. Trust me, as someone who starts drama by mistake and as someone who has in my own little niche of God's Own Chain and a couple other games, I've had those little controversies where someone gets mad at me or whatever. You don't want it. It's not fun. It's not going to help you build your channel successful creators, I believe, get into drama because they're already succeeding and then it leads to drama. I don't think the drama leads to any kind of sustainable success. It's certainly not going to make you happy. So I just wanted to point out that this is the answer. If someone is saying stuff about your game, I mean, sometimes you can just call out bullshit. But if they have reasonable points, listen. Listen to the criticisms. Maybe even make content that kind of leans into it. Oh, free-to-play is not fun. I'm going to go free-to-play for a month, and I'll test it. If free-to-play is great, then the content will show that. Or if there's some truth to the criticisms, then maybe at the end of Muka's free-to-play challenge, for example, he'll be like, okay, I do think the game needs to juice up the free-to-play experience. I think this kind of thing where content creators can disagree in a way that is respectful and that it's like, okay, interesting. Someone who is reasonably smart reasonably capable has a different opinion from me this happens all the time and it's interesting like, I wonder which one of us is more right or what evidence we can find I'm gonna make some good content and try to get closer to the answer get more information and more answers via good content one thing I want to make clear and a reason I wanted to make this video is just that if I criticize a game or if I have certain critical things to say about a certain feature or a new launch it doesn't mean that I don't like the game. It certainly is not meant as an insult to the players of that game. And I think in general, as content creators in Web3, we could look to be a little less drama thirsty and a little more interested in good discussions where we can disagree in a charitable and productive way. That's also more entertaining, in my opinion, than people just being really mad and then nothing goes anywhere. Let's, let's have fun with our disagreements. Let's learn to, you know... You know, we can spar against each other, but let's save the real fighting energy for, you know, convincing people to join us. Let's not waste it on fighting with each other within the Web3 space. So shout outs to all the parallel content creators. I actually didn't even mean for this video to be this long. I thought this one would be pretty quick, but we're almost at nine minutes. So yeah, shout outs to all the hardworking creators in parallel. Shout outs to Muka. Good luck on his free to play challenge. And I will see you all in the next video. That's all I had to say. Flux signing out.